Good morning and welcome again. <laughs> it is good to have you here with me this morning. Well, I want to start this morning by reading to you a scripture in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. It is a well-known scripture and I love this portion of, of scripture in God's word. It says, God, it's a promise from God for your life and for my life. And this is what it says. It says, for I know it's God speaking, for I know the thoughts and the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and to give you a future. Isn't that a wonderful, wonderful portion of scripture? Well, the beginning part of that scripture says, for I know, that is God, he knows. You know, we all, I don't know if you're like me, but we like to be in the know. We like to know what's going on, what's going on later on today, what's maybe going to be happening tomorrow. You know, and to a certain degree, we can know, but you know, for sure, we don't really, really know what the next even minute holds in our lives. But you know, total trust in God comes when we don't know what tomorrow holds. But you know what? We know who holds tomorrow. We know who is in control, and that is God. That is your God and my God today. You know, and the one thing that we can know and you and I can be assured of, and we can rest in this confidence, is that God knows all things concerning your life and my life, concerning your family and my family. He knows it all. God is in control. You know, this verse in Jeremiah 29 tells us that he knows the thoughts and the plans that he has for your life and for my life. You know, I love, love the fact there that that means that God is thinking about you and he's thinking about me. We're in his thoughts. How amazing is that? There's another amazing uh, scripture um, or verse in Psalms 139 verse 17 and it's in the Passion Translation and I just want to read it to you this morning. I just love what it says here. It says every single moment, this is David speaking to God, every single moment you God are thinking of me. How precious and wonderful to consider that you cherish me constantly in your every thought. Oh God, your desires towards me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. And when I awake each morning, you're still with me. I love that portion of scripture. It's amazing the way it stands out. You know what? As he thinks of you and as he thinks of me, he has plans for your life and he has a good, good plan even for my life. Plans, the plans that he has are plans, this verse tells us, to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope. You know, God's plans for your life and are plans of peace, the Bible says. God is a God of peace and he wants you and I living and enjoying peace. You know, the scripture also says that it's well-being. That's you and I living in a place of being comfortable and healthy, knowing that God is in control. He's in control. You know, he wants to give you a good future. Um, it's not a disappointing fantasy, that hope, um, that hope believing that he can and will do what he's promised. This hope he gives us is a strong unbreakable anchor holding us to him isn't that amazing our faith in him brings our hope into reality this hope releases a continual joy on the inside of you and I you know we can stand today in absolute stillness and silent and at complete rest we don't have to be confused. We don't have to be um, at a place of anxiety or worry or concern. But we can be at absolute peace, absolute stillness, knowing that he will uh, rescue us and our hope is in him. Um, we step out today. You and I can step out into this day in absolute boldness today, knowing and we really need to know that this is what we need to know, that God is in control and God knows it all. And he's thinking of you. He's thinking of me. He wants to see us prosper and he gives us hope today. So be encouraged today. Be strengthened in God's word today and have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. Bye-bye.